The Bureau also involved itself with the family affairs of the recently freed. One of its greatest achievements was documenting the marriages of the former slaves. On February 27, 1866, the Virginia General Assembly enacted a law which made uh, it such that former slaves who had married during slavery would be entitled to the rights and privileges of a married couple and that their children were deemed legitimate. The Freedmen's Bureau's assistant superintendents created a register of colored persons cohabitating together as husband and wife on 27 February 1866 to document these couples and their children, and they were left with clerks of court in the counties of the state or retained in the Freedmen's Bureau's records. The surviving Virginia cohabitation registers exist for the following counties, Augusta, Caroline, Culpeper, Floyd, Fluvanna, Goochland, Hanover, Lunenburg, Montgomery, Prince Edward, Richmond County, not the city, Roanoke County, Scott, Smith, Surrey, Warren, Washington, and Wyth, and they can be accessed through the Library of Virginia's website of Virginia Memory. These records contain the name of the husband and wife, their ages, place of birth, residence, occupation, last owner, last owner city or county of residence, the names of children with the ages of each, and the date of commencement of cohabitation. They are extremely important records for uh, black Virginians who are trying to document uh, their family's history. And some of you may know we sort of typically hit what we call the 1870 brick wall, uh, where it is difficult to get past that because previous census data did not list individual names of enslaved people uh, and uh, most people uh, in, in the South, certainly uh, here in Virginia, uh, were, uh, who were black, were enslaved. Uh, 